Hi, I was not gonna video today. My kitchen's a disaster. I'm feeling really depressed. I have that issue of depression bipolar anyway, but it's time of COVID and it's just one of those days. So I'm gonna make tomato sauce. I have some sausages that Steve had already grilled a couple of days ago I'm gonna throw in there. But basically the sauce is vegetarian if you're vegetarian or vegan or vegan or however you say it. I used to be it, but I never really knew how to say it, so. Oh good, I think I'm gonna feel better just cooking, because that's what I do. I don't know, one or two tablespoons. I, I always use more, I use more olive oil than most recipes call for. Just because that's what I do. Oh, you got that light on. I hope that's okay. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna heat up the oil. And I'm using um palm. I usually use chopped, but now my husband tells me he doesn't like chunky sauce. So rather than use the, I have strain that I bought by mistake, but hey, sometimes mistakes happen for a reason. Or at least one can rationalize anything, actually. Okay, I don't want to burn it, but I need scissors. I can never find scissors. I found scissors. These are clean. Clean enough. <laughs> Oh, you ever have those days where you, you just don't want to do anything? I'm having one, but cooking is, uh, I, you know, I gotta make dinner anyway, and I think, you know, I have more fun when I, pretending I'm talking to people. Who knows if anyone watches these things, but here I am. There's a real simple version where you do the olive oil, you do the, the garlic, but don't let it brown, then add the sauce, and then add salt, pe pepper, and fresh basil. And it's really good. I've actually jacked that one up uh, when I was doing foods that need sauce when I cook at Horizon House, doing community dinners. And it, you know, it's just, it's very easy. But um, I'm going to do onion in this also, because we like onion. Ooh. So it's about a small onion. And... Oops, oh good. Oh, I don't want to use a fan. I'll talk loud, I have to use a fan. I don't want my whole house to smell like onion. Maybe I'll turn you off from that while this is cooking, since it's loud in the fan, and I'll be right back. Okay, that's the front burner. Okay, I'm just gonna have, oops, stink up my house, because I don't want to yell. Okay, but I had to throw off, because actually my husband came in and we were chatting, so. I actually cook them more than I normally would. I'm going to look from behind the camera as I do this just to see what it looks like. I go like this. Okay, that's how I should do this. Okay, that works. I mean, Usually I cook them slow and low, but I got distracted. So now what I'm going to do... Oh, you know what? Before I... I know I've said Steve doesn't like chunky tomato sauce, but he... I guess it's just the tomatoes he doesn't like chunky. So I got the okay. <laughs> I've got to put some red pepper in since I have an organic red pepper. Organically grown. Don't have those very often. Or sustain it. Well, in the summer, we'll have these just as good as when Farmer Dave sustainably grown. Close enough. And other farmers. I don't know how many. Everything's different this year for the farmer's market. I don't know. I'm sure we'll have Farmer Dave, but I'm not sure who else. How much do I want? It's not that much sauce. Yeah, I'm going to do another thing get this out of here. Compost. Yay. Oops. Yeah, my kitchen's such a mess. I feel so sad. It's awful. But this is better. Just <laughs> I do like to cook. And I can make myself laugh. Mostly at myself, so, you know, fairly benign. <laughs> oh, I'm not using any good light knife skills, but that's all right. So, I'm going to have some red, I don't want, not, i actually not that fond of, I mean, I like red pepper and stuff, but I'm going to just throw this over here for now. I mean, honey boy. I don't really like cooked peppers that much, but red pepper in with a tomato sauce. That's kind of fun. So, 
I'm going to cook these with the onion a little bit. I just turned this down so it's not sizzling quite yet, but it shall. Here it comes. Okay, that's going to cook a little bit. I don't need this anymore. Roll my neck. It's going to be really simple. So basically onion, I'm going to cook the pepper a little bit. And then add the garlic just for, you know, that proverbial 30, 60 seconds or whatever till fragrance. 30 seconds till fragrant. I wonder how many times that phrase is in any cookbook that has that used, you know, has garlic as an ingredient in the recipe. 30 seconds or until fragrant. Although I, I was looking up some recipes, I whatever, and it said 60 seconds, so who knows? I've been told that you shouldn't cook it at high temperature. You can get bitter, which is why you can lose in the last before you put whatever sauce in saute. But who knows? And someone knows, or someone thinks they know. I'm not feeling particularly definitive right now. This is gonna, you know, actually this is gonna cook for a while because I'm gonna heat up the sausages in it. So I'm gonna just blast this garlic in right now. And then add the sauce and then some seasoning. And then I'm gonna cut off the sausage. 30 seconds, should I count? Oh, uh, I'm wondering if people are watching these videos, what, how come, well, it's not as many up there as when I first started, because while the onions were cooking, I took down some of my plastic bags. Yes, my mother was a depression baby, and now that during COVID, when you don't know when you can get anything next, I do, I actually always have washed and reused my plastic bags. I make sure I'm careful if there's raw meat in any of them, I label them and only use them for like the frosting meat and stuff, but okay, I think that's a uh, new fragrant. I can smell like that's a good sign in this time of COVID. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna turn that way down. Ah, shit. I forgot. An important tool. <laughs> well, it's a little soft. It's not too bad. When, it simmer, when I let it simmer, though, I'm gonna use my string thing. Okay, let me turn it back up. Hmm. Well, this is already thick. Oh my god. But it needs to simmer. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna actually add some water because I want it to have time to simmer and heat up the sausages, get the flavor from the sausage. That's filtered water. That's for the pasta. Eh, I don't know how much this is. We'll put, let's see how it looks. I don't want to walk. Well, I can always cook it down. I mean, you can't really. I guess you could run into trouble and really water it too much, but I'm still getting that separating thing going on. Okay. I don't dare put any more in. Oh, stupid. I should have, you know what? I think I will. It's not that much more. Stupid me. I should have done that from the beginning. Let's see how much spills it work. Ooh, good job, buddy. I'm not just spill it down. There, just get some more of that out of there. There we go. And I so wish these things were recyclable. First they said they were, and then they said they weren't. And I think they're not. And it's the only problem. Because I prefer to. Who knows if they're recycling anything these days? Anyway, but the cans have a better chance. Okay. Well, it's not doing much there. <laughs> I am really more low energy than I usually am as far as, okay, oh, and my hands are still wet. I can't stand kids' towels dryer. I tend to just use my hands when I'm seasoning and it doesn't work as well when your fingers are all wet. Actually, and I'm gonna, no, no, I'll just leave this here. Okay, time for some basil. If I had fresh basil, I'd put it in, but I don't, so. So we're fine. I'm going to like a teaspoon of everything but more of parsley because so oregano, parsley, oregano. What did I just do? Did I just do two of the same thing? <laughs> no, I did basil, oregano, parsley, and I like margarine. I guess I should put some thyme. I like margarine because it has that little lemony flavor. A little brightness. That's a little brightness. Got 
like five thousand dollars and slices of here. I'm missing something. Time. Should I put time in? Need that time? I'm not putting time in. Maybe I'll put something in later. I don't feel like looking for it though. <laughs> I don't care. Anyway, so I'm gonna let this simmer a little. Oh, salt. I mean, this is all the taste anyway, so. I mean, I can give you basics of how to do it, but you know, when I finally get recipes on my blog, I mean, a, I have a ton of recipes on Culinary Q, but not necessarily the ones that I've been doing on YouTube recently. I will remedy that, I promise. Okay, I have to take a break to see who that is on the phone. Let this simmer for a little bit with the cover on. Don't make a bigger mess of my stove, at the, although at this point it really won't matter. But anyway, I'll be back. I'm back. I had a chance to talk to my friend Linda. I actually turned this down for a while because I didn't know how long we'd be talking. We've got this simmering again. And then, um, these were in the fridge. It's still fine. A couple days ago on the grill. I'm going to cut the first sausages from the Lilac Hedge Farm, a local farmer. And I'm going to slice them up. Kind of small, so there's more room for the flavor of the tomato to get in and the flavor of the sausage to get out. I'm going to toss them in. I'm going to think how much to do. It's a fair amount of sauce. Should I do them both? I think I'm going to do, I'm going to leave. Might be enough in two teaspoons. I'm thinking of leaving enough to do a, eh, never mind. Sometimes what we do with the sausage is, um, Slice them real thin and put them on English muffins and with cheese and stuff. But you know what? I'm going to throw them all in here. Just because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is like not a real exciting recipe. I mean, it's delicious. Actually, it's one a kind of recipe that I like. It's um, flexible. It's easy. Doesn't take a lot of fancy ingredients. It's flexible. You don't need to put meat in it. It's lovely by itself. Like I said, um, the basic of just garlic and tomato sauce and basil and salt and pepper is makes a lovely sauce. It's just fine to have. But like I said I wanted to add a little onion. Yeah, this will even with the water. Um, this isn't gonna work. I need to get. I found my other camera, but the battery keeps running out. My other phone. I have to do this. I guess you can kind of see it's maybe not. I don't know if you can see that nice. I don't want to tip it too much, but it's pretty thick. I like that. And well, it doesn't stay that far. When you scrape the spoon, you see the silver underneath for a little bit. You know it's getting thick. I'm gonna let this get even thicker. Check the seasoning for now. I'm not going to do the final seasoning until the sausage has had a chance to simmer because there might be some salt. There will be salt and seasoning from that coming into the sauce, too. Hmm. That's good. What I'm going to do, I always put a little sugar in. Some people go, oh my God, how can you do that? And other people say it's the old Italian grandmother trick. I don't know. I don't have an Italian grandmother. And I don't remember if my mom did that. And I don't have my mom's spaghetti sauce recipe. It's uh, in storage somewhere. But that's okay, because I like all what I do just fine. She does, she always had a ground, she had ground, she always had ground meat in hers. She always did a meat sauce, and I prefer to have the meat in the sauce, so I don't need that recipe. But, uh, so that's basically it. I mean, it's just a tomato sauce. It'd be nice if I had some fresh basil leaves to put in it, but I don't. Or you could make the same, you know, the same recipe that I'm going to put on the website, I promise. If you don't have the palm, you can just do it with a 26 ounce can of tomatoes and you can get those that have basil, you know, the basil flavored, or if you want to go fancy, you know, the fire roasted or, or whatever. Um, you know what I forgot to do? I usually put some hot pepper flakes. I don't think I'm going to put them in now, but I usually like to put them in when I'm sauteing whatever I'm sauteing before I add the tomato sauce. But, um, I don't know. That's basically it. I don't know if I'm going to video more on this or not, but I suspect I will probably put a little more seasoning, probably some more salt. 
depending upon how much salt leaches out from the Ooh, that's not a nice term is it leech Ooh, it sounds like hmm. infuses out of the sausage no i don't because i don't want to over salt it but i i do use salt do use salt more than i used to because i got oh i can show you this I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. It taught me to not be afraid of salt. It's really good. So, anyway, that's it. I'm going to probably put this on the back burner with my screen on it and let it get a little thicker. Finish seizing it, although it tastes fine the way it is, but you know, I'm gonna punch it. I want. I want it to taste really good, so I can do that. It's just, and, and so can you. This is just a matter of putting seasoning in smaller amounts. I didn't put pepper in yet. Oh my god! I don't think did I? <laughs> Never too much pepper. We love pepper around here. But yeah. So that's it. It's really easy, really quick. If you use chopped tomatoes, it's definitely nice and quick, and you just just it's even quicker. You don't have to cook it down. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Neat. Like I said, I might be back, but probably not. So, bye. Well, might be back for this video. I will be doing more videos. See ya. Okay, so I came back. <laughs> um, this hasn't been that long, but this tastes great. I don't know if I can tip this enough for you to see. When you do the spoon, you can see that silver. It's actually pretty thick. And that, ooh, that looks really good. So, and that was adding water to well, whatever it was, the thing of pummy. But, so this is good, tastes really good. Um, I am glad I didn't add salt before letting the sausages simmer because I do notice it tasting a little more salty and a little more seasoned. So it got some flavor from the sausage. So I'm just gonna leave that on really low until I wanna eat. I'm gonna make a salad. I'm using my, I am so anal. I, I use a scale for everything. So what I do, I only want to do half of it. So I I um oh, tear out the bowl so it says zero and fill it till it says, oh wait, that just said eight. It was right on the edge. Now eight ounces, so exactly half of this package. And this the pasta I like. It's the Lalo Organic Whole Wheat Linguini. Um yeah, we like linguini. It has a nice chewy texture and all that. Um, who knows if I'll be able to afford organic food in the next few months, depending on when we can get back to work. But um, for now, I bought a bunch of it, so I have a bunch. It takes a bit of sticking in my thing. Oh, you don't want to see this counter over here. <laughs> well, it's not really dirty. It's just um, has many things on it. Someday, I don't know. But anyway, so I have my pasta I'm ready to go, my scale back. This is a really cool scale. What I like about it is when you have it like this with a big bowl, you can pull this out so you can actually see how much, you can see this, see how much it, things weigh even if the bowl is, bowl circumference goes out further than right here. But anyway, yeah. I did it to replace another scale. I had a scale I bought it, oh, I think 12 years ago and it finally died, but I think 12 years for, you know, the scale's pretty good. So anyway, now I shall really say goodbye for the evening. And um, yeah, this is actually Tuesday, but I probably won't get it on until Wednesday. Although maybe I'll get it on tonight. But, but anyway, <laughs> even when you're feeling kind of depressed and unenergetic, you can make a really good tomato sauce and have a lovely dinner, even if you don't bother making the salad. I, I really hope I get around to the salad. I like salad. Bye.